When I was in college, I wrote a business plan for a shipping company called Fragile Shipping. Fragile! It must be Italian. Well, I think that says fragile, honey. And I ended up getting an A on that paper, so I'm pretty sure you can trust me as the expert in this area of how to package and ship your artwork without it getting destroyed. I think we all know how careful and meticulous the post office and the post carriers are. Ding dong! With that in mind, we want to package up these beautiful pieces of artwork so that anything could possibly happen to them. They could be tossed through tornadoes and attacked by ninjas and dealt with by postal workers. And we would end up, in the end, with a beautiful piece of artwork still that makes it safely to its destination. So this is how I package and ship my artwork. Okay, first of all, a couple materials that you're gonna need. Um, black foam board, a cardboard box, plenty of bubble wrap so you can wrap that thing in like 10 yards of safety and glory. You're gonna want a pair of scissors, an exacto knife, a pencil, a packaging tape, and if you run out you steal your dad's because <laughs> he loves it when you do that. I have my artist tape um, which is, it's just got less glue on it so you can put it on your artwork without really worrying about it too much. And then I have my regular masking tape. I also have a ruler with my name on it. They work better if they have your name on them. The fact. So you start off with a clean piece of foam board and then you're going to want to measure your artwork and give it about one inch to one and a half inches of space on every side. That just gives it a nice barrier. Then I just um, repeat that step on the other side. So I have a nice sandwich from my artwork to go inside of. Then I cut it with my X-Acto knife on the line I made. And voila! It's fabulous! Woohoo! Woo! Woo! Look at that thing. Beautiful. Fits like a charm. Then I take my big old box. Scoot over me, you can't see. Yep, oh, there we go. First I cut it open, and then I measure out the space I'm gonna need with my foam board measurements that I already made. So I like to have about two inches of space um, on every side of my foam board because I wanna fill that whole bad boy up with as much bubble wrap as it can take to protect my beautiful child that I'm sending out into the big bad dangerous world. Then I score my cardboard so that it bends easily and I cut everything down to size. Make sure you're checking everything as you go so that you don't end up with some strange deformed shape that is not in any way going to protect your artwork. And always be sure that your foam board cutout fits. The next step is using way too much packaging tape to get this thing to hold still. I generally like to use a whole roll at a time and then steal my dad's and use his too. That's his favorite thing about me is that I use his packaging tape. He loves it, it's real bonding. You just want to keep taping it. Just keep, keep taping it. Everywhere, every single spot. Wherever you think, there's a possibility that anything could possibly touch it ever. It also waterproofs it. 
probably not true, but it feels right. Just keep, keep taping it. Okay, then you're gonna wanna take your foam board and for the moment of triumph, you put your artwork on the foam board and the way you adhere it to the foam board is you're gonna take some pieces of artist tape or what you can do is you can take um, regular masking tape and to get some of the glue off you just stick it to your arm and then take it off and then that removes some of the glue so you can stick it to the back of your paper without worrying about the glue coming off or the paper coming off of the other layers of paper or something terrible happening to your beautiful finished piece of artwork and just very gently apply it on the back and rub your finger along it so that you don't have to touch the face of it because that would be horrible and then of course your cat's gonna tr come in and try and destroy your life because that's what cats do they like to take over the world they like to destroy your life and then you're just going to put masking tape on the top of that then I like to put a piece of tracing paper over the top of that and secure it so that uh, nothing touches the face of the paper except the tracing paper. That way you avoid letting things get smudged while it's being jostled around in the mail. And then of course, you should overthink everything. You know, add a couple extra details, fix all your horrible mistakes that no one's gonna notice except you. Maybe you should overthink it a little more. Yeah, probably overthink it a lot. Oh, that, that piece of snow is horrible. It's just not right. Fix it, fix it again. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Yep, wait, no, it's not perfect. No, one more time, one more time. Yep, okay, now. Maybe I need another tool. Hold on, oh yeah, that's better. Got it, perfect. Okay, phew. And then you overthink it a little bit more. And you worry. But then eventually you just decide to put the other piece of foam board on top and tape it down. Tape that thing, girl. So I just put masking tape on every single side just to make sure it's nice and secure and make sure the picture isn't going to be moving around at all. So sandwiching it in and putting that piece of tracing paper over there, over the top of it, really helps keep it safe. Then of course, you wanna put a card in there and then use all the bubble wrap in the world. Then go to Mars and steal their bubble wrap. Cause there's not enough, there's never enough bubble wrap. Never enough. Keep going. That looks about right. No, oh, no, maybe a little more, more bubble wrap. Yeah, never too much bubble wrap. Then I like to tape down all my bubble wrap just to make sure. I don't even know, I don't know why. It just makes me feel good. So I usually go for about two inches of bubble wrap and then if I'm extra picky, which I always am, I'm extra paranoid. I like to overthink it some more and reinforce the box with the leftover pieces of cardboard. And then, of course, use the rest of my dad's tape. And that's it. Wait, no, that's not. That's not it. <laughs> More tape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, fragile handle with care stickers. Got to put them everywhere. Cuz no one's going to notice if it's just in one place. So you put them every single place you can. Sometimes you put two on the same side. Because everyone knows, no one's gonna see one sticker. You have to have at least 12.
then you just send your baby off into the world and, and hope that it makes it to its destination alive. You've done all you can for that thing. I mean, unless you want to send it with an arm escort, which <laughs> I don't think would be too unreasonable at this point. Right?